Hello guys, welcome to this video tutorial. Today, we are going to show you how to blink an LED without using the delay function using the MSP430 launchpad with Energia. For this example, we can use the onboard LED already available on the launchpad and won't be needing any extra components. Now let's get started. Simply plug the launchpad to your computer over USB. In one of our earlier tutorials, we showed you how to blink an LED with the help of delay function. By using delay function, we could discern the blinking of LED, which otherwise would be very difficult to notice. But the disadvantage of using blink function is that it brings all activities to halt. Suppose if you want to detect a button press and blink an LED at the same time, the delay function would halt the entire program until the LED blinked. Now if you press the button during delay, the program might miss the event. So how do we blink the LED without delay function? You will see that in just a few minutes. Now let's open up Energia. We will import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Digital, Blink without delay. In this example, we can see that we have a setup and loop portion of our code. In the setup portion, pin 14, which has green LED on the launch pad connected to it, is set up as output. Here, the LED pin refers to the green LED which is set as output. To know which pins we want to use for LEDs, we can use this pin mapping guide. We can see that the red and green LED on a launch pad is connected to pin number 2 and 14. And that's all we have to do in setup. Moving down to the main loop section. This is where we measure delay without using the delay function. Let's step over the code and see how this is implemented. We have two variables, current millis and previous millis. Current millis is used to keep track of the current time. The current time is nothing but the time elapsed in milliseconds since the launch pad was booted up. This value is obtained with the help of millis function. Previous millis is used to keep track of the time when LED previously blinked. It is initialized to zero at the beginning of the program. In order to measure delay, we check the difference of the current time with the previous time when the LED last blinked. If the difference exceeds the delay time interval, we store back the current time into previous millis and toggle the LED. If the LED is on, then it's turned off and vice versa. We write back the appropriate value into the LED pin using the digital write function. And that's it. Just run your code by pressing the verify and download button and watch your LED blink without the help of delay function.